hey hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel this reflects if this is your first time sitting don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon so that you can stay updated about my latest video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to turn your studio picture to something like this to turn it to something like this adding the overlays adding everything this time around you are going to go through it whole different step from the manipulation we did in the past so this is going to be a different step we're going to be adding all this overlay to our picture to make it look more realistic so for we to do that firstly if you want to do anything any manipulation i prefer retouching my picture first so i would advise you to retouch your picture first before you start doing anything so these are the picture I was taking this picture I was taking with canon t nikon d 5500 uh, the person who took this picture is Pixora Photography. I will drop his Instagram handle in the description below. You can actually go to his page and check out some of his job. He gave me a picture I also used for my pre one of my pre previous videos also. So first thing for retouching, the next thing is our background extension. We want to expand the background. We want it to have more space. So like this, this is it over here. I've already extend the background. This is the background over here. So unlike the one we did in our normal manipulation, we were, which we are going to make sure all these colors are showing, as in the background color will blend in perfectly. We don't actually need that here since we are changing the background entirely. So all we just need to do now is just to remove our model from the background. And removing this picture model from the background in this picture is going to take a hair of a time because we are going to crop out this ladder too with the selection we are about to make. Which is going to bore you guys out so i'll just pass forward this step and crop it out so we we'll just jump into bringing in our overlays and adding them into our picture so all we just need to do in this in this video is just for we to now to click in our overlays also so bring in the overlay and make it look realistic enough so as you can see i've cropped out my image perfectly it took me a little bit more than 10 minutes for me to do so but I actually got it right so this is my picture over here so what i would just need to do now is bring it in the, the overlays if you actually learn a thing or two from my video tutorial and you actually want to promote our channel you want to help our channel build up you can actually just drop a super thank you just send us a super thank you uh you can send any amount of your choice if you are using the nigeria currency it starts from 200 naira and above if you are using a foreign country it's going to convert into your own currency directly without you having to do anything you just have to click on the slider here so if you wish to support our channel we'll be very glad and also it's going to show in the comment section that someone did contribute to our channel and we're very so the value i'll bring it in will be below my model which i just cropped out now so i'm going to click on the background layer right now then i'll bring in my first layer let me bring it in so let's see the one that will go for it first okay so i will be using this one at the foot so let me drag this one in let me zoom in extra large so let me drag this into photoshop taking it to photoshop and i'll expand it i'll expand it then i'll bring it down bring it down so this time around this is supposed to be at the top of alex not under alex so i'll just drag it above her. as you can see it's already covering alex so i'll just expand the size of it so i'll cover a little bit a little bit more of a leg so once I'm satisfied, I'll click on my OK. I'm still going to duplicate this one again by clicking on Ctrl J. Instead of me to move the upper one, I'll move the one below. Then I'll just adjust it, bring it up. I want it to cover more area of a leg, as you can see right now. I want it to be somewhere around this place. So we've done that. So the next one, all we did so far is apply uh, this at the top of a leg. So we have to apply it at the back of her also at the back of this ladder and the back of her leg so like to make it look more realistic so we are still going to duplicate one of either this two layer by clicking on ctrl j then we'll drag it down below her drag it down below the model will cropped out you know the previous two is above our model why this one has to be below so we just have to use our move to make sure you're on your move make sure you just drag it up as you can see if we have to zoom in zoom in now as you can see it is behind the ladder behind the leg so it's going to make it look a little bit more realistic than you know 
So let's say we're done with that. The next thing is just for you to be bringing in the other, other overlay. So I'll go to my file manager again. Select another one to me. I want to make use of. Okay, I'll be bringing this snake in. Just want to add a little bit of you know artistic stuff. Not necessary though. You can just actually bring in all the greens you need. So I'll just be bringing this into Photoshop now, and I'll place it. Then I'll rotate it the size I want it to be and the location I want it to be. I'll just have to drag it there. I'll reduce the size. So I think this size is okay by me. Click on my OK. So the next thing I'll be doing right now, I'll be bringing in the other other PNG files also. As you can see, all these files I'm bringing in right now are PNGs. So I would love this uh, this thing to be there. I don't know what its name is called. So I'll just drag it into Photoshop. I'll drag it there. I'll place it. Then I'll go over the area I want it to be. Okay. Let me say I want it to be this way, but it's a little bit too small. I just have to expand it. But the issue we have now is already covering our snake, which is not looking that nice. So we have to bring it down. Let it be below the snake layer, as you can see. Our swing is showing. Sorry, now I know the name. The swing. So now our swing is showing. Also, our leaves are showing also, and the snake is also showing. So I think this is okay for now. So we just keep bringing in the overlay and placing them the way we want them to be. So let me pick the next overlay. Okay, this will, this will be my next overlay. I'll just have to drag it into Photoshop. I'll drag it into my Photoshop. Then I'll reduce this. I will change the size. Okay, this I want it to be above the ladder. So I'll drag it above my model layer, as you can see. So I will just duplicate it by holding down my alt key. I will hold down my alt key, then I will duplicate it. Then I will put it where I want it to be. I want it to be here also, but this time I want it to be at the back of this swing. So I have to drag it down to where the swing is located below the layer. As you can see right now. But okay, so we are going to keep bringing in the overlay until we make sure we filled all this angle over here so that we just have to leave our background and the middle here. So I'll just go back to my file manager again. I'll pick in another overlay. So let me be using this. I just have to drag it down, drag into my Photoshop. Then I'll adjust the size a little bit. Then I'll paste. Unlike the other of manipulation we do, which we mostly use our soft lights instead of using it plain like this. This one we are not going to be making use of any soft light. We are going to be adding it directly plain like this into our Photoshop. So let's say we're done with this. Let's pick another overlay also. We have like four four there that we've not making use of. So okay, let me bring in this leaf now. I'll drag into Photoshop also. I will adjust the lift, I will reduce the size, anywhere I want it to be, I will drag it there. I will adjust it. Then I will click on my OK. So this time around, I want to bring in particles that will be at the top of the picture. We will make it look more real. So we can actually use this for our particle also. So let me turn off the other layer that I brought in. Let me turn everything off so that I can see the particle I want to make use of. Let me turn it off. So this is the particle we want to make use of now. So I just have to crop this out and apply what I want to apply there. What I'll just do, I'll just pick my polygonal axle tool, select over the area I want to use, which is this three place. Once I'm done with the selection, I just have to click on my Ctrl J. As you can see, Ctrl T to transform, then pick it, drag it to any location I want it to be. Well, this time around, I want it to be at the top, not at the bottom. I want to be over R. So I'll click on my OK, then I'll drag it over R. As you can see right now, so it will soon be making sense like this. So we just have to blow it out a little bit. Go to our filter, under our filter, click on blow, then Gaussian blow. Wait for it to load up, then apply the amount of blow you want it to be there. Okay, I think this is okay for me. 13.9 pixels is okay. Then I'll click on my OK. So you can actually do that like two or three times once you get what you need. So let me turn on my layer back. Let me turn the home back. So as you can see, we've done something nice so far, but let's fill it everywhere with the leaves so that it will look more green. So I'll hold on my alt key, hold on my alt key, this is the one I want to copy again. Once I hold it down, I'll just have to drag Ctrl T to transform, and I'll just drag it to the location I want it to be and where I want it to be exactly. So that's that. Let me still alt again, 
select ctrl c as you can see right now so this time around is already covering my snake eye i just have to bring it below the snake layer as you can see right now which is very very nice let me bring in one more overlay before i finalize everything so we'll just go back to my file manager let me look for the overlay i can use okay let me be using this let me drag into my photoshop okay i click on my okay but it's a little bit too much i really need few of it i really need the banana leaf there so i'll select over the area i want and delete the rest so i'll select over the area i want which is this then I'll click on Ctrl J to duplicate it. So the one we brought in, which is this one that is on Smart Object, I just click on it and click on my delete. So you can see right now. So this time around, I can now reduce the size of the leaf we just brought in now, which is our banana leaf. So you can just reduce the size until you see if it's anywhere you want it to be. Once it's done, just click on your OK. So I'm going to be blowing this a little bit also. Go to Filter blow then click on your Gaussian blow if it is too much just reduce the strength reduce the radius click on ok so let's say we're done with this for now we just have to bring in the overall uh, background because right now we are still working on our studio background so we just have to bring in the overall background that will fill in everything so for you to do that we'll go and click on the last layer which has the background so we'll click on it now go to our file manager and uh, bring the overlay we want to use. This is one that I'll be making use of. Just have to drag it into my Photoshop. I'll drag it into Photoshop. Wait for it to load up. Just have to expand, expand until I get what I want. Okay, this is how I want it to be. This is how I want it to be. But as you can see, it's already it's not making my model show very well. It's already destroying the details on our face. So it's more sharp so all we just need to do now is just to blow it out a little bit so just go to your filter click on blow then click on gaussian blow so let's blow it out so that we can be seeing our model very well okay 22 pixels is okay once you click your okay as you can see our model stand out perfectly so we're already done with our manipulation just under 15 minutes no stress at all just bringing in and placing the object the right way so the next thing for we to do now is just to apply a little bit of color grading to it you can actually export like this we have actually done something nice so far or you can decide to color grade your picture by yourself so if this is your first time visiting please do subscribe and also share with your friends so that i can learn more things relating to photography from this channel and if you wish to support our channel, just click on the super thank you button there. Uh, you can actually make any payment, any amount of payments to into our YouTube channel and help us promote industry free content. And it's very, very easy. Uh, the currency differs, depends on the type of country you are watching from. So you can pay any amount and help promote our channel. So for we to color grade now, now I want to color grade everything all together using my camera roll. So what I just have to do is to create a copy of everything I've done so far by clicking on Ctrl, Shift, Alt and E. As you can see, it creates a copy of everything for us. So I just have to go to my filter. Under my filter, I'll click on my camera roll. So under my camera roll, I think my setting is okay for here. I can just reduce the highlight a little bit. Then all I just need to do is just to go to my HSL adjustment, click on it. Uh, my skin tone, let me add a little bit of skin tone to it my orange that's the orange the orange is the skin tone my yellow let me increase it a little bit my green also as you can see the aqua you can bring it up the blue you can bring it up so just color grid using the hsl adjustments as best as you could so once you're done with that just click on your okay so now let's check out our before and after let's check our before and after now Control g to group everything all together yeah either before and here is after so that's all for today's tutorial guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any questions you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible all the files i made use of are available in my google drive link just click the link in the description below for you to download them there see you guys on my next tutorial one love guys